Howdy truth seekers, Sir Travis here with series 2 of Truth TV. Now in this video I'm going to discuss abortion. What is abortion? Well folks, abortion is just socially sponsored mass murder of womb trapped children. It is murder folks. Okay, abortion is the deliberate act okay that results in the destruction of a human life. Now you might notice that I use the term and I'll continue to use it throughout this video of womb trapped child. I don't use the term a fetus because this term is designed to try and dehumanize the womb trapped child and furthermore deny that it's some kind of baby or child and he's actually uh, derived from words like fetid uh, that, 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 that are negative sounding words to try and make the, the, the wound trapped child seem e e even more subhuman. Now, uh, the process of reproduction, folks, works in such a way that uh, any species of creature always reproduces a whole of the same species. There's nothing else that it can be, folks. Uh, because abortion is such an immoral act by society, society is always trying to deny that it's murder, usually by denying that uh, that constitutes a human being life form growing inside the womb. But that just isn't true, folks. And of course, there are another few arguments, uh, such as. Uh, uh, that it isn't conscious at certain stages and so on. That's all lies again, folks. This is the truth here. Approximately 72 hours after the sperm has mingled with it, the egg, the life form attaches to the wall of the uterus, and then we have a new human life growing okay and this this life is more pure sane and reasonable than than because it hasn't been tainted by lies or, 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 or corrupted by society now now I might as well address this right now folks okay uh, because, because uh, people are going to say they're going to say it's only a potential life. Well, let's have a look. I'll bring the image up now on the screen. This, folks, is what a womb trapped child looks like after it's been brutally and deliberately murdered by society. There's no potential about it, folks. It's there. It's there. It is alive and it is growing. As soon as it's conceived, it's biologically alive. It's an organism and it is growing under its own power. Okay? And it just goes through all the stages of life. You know, you, it goes through and uh, eventually it becomes an adult human being. Now, the idea that... Uh, there's only a potential life, it's obviously false. It exists, folks. And although at earlier stages it isn't actually conscious, consciousness isn't actually a requirement to be a human being or to be have your life valued as a sentient being. Take this example, folks. Uh, let's just say that uh, uh, you you had you had uh, someone you cared for very much, or you can put yourself in the, the, into the example, and you're in hospital, 
okay you're in a deep brain dead coma and the doctor comes up to to the person who's a bit anxious and they and uh, he tells them oh he'll be out of this total brain dead coma in about two weeks folks okay okay now currently he's unconscious isn't he but he's still a human being if someone was to walk into that hospital room at that time and brutally chopping up with an axe you wouldn't say that that person hasn't destroyed a human being would you just because it wasn't conscious at that time now so it isn't just consciousness at that time and take a dead body folks a dead body used to be conscious but that's not valued in the same way that a living life form is no folks it's the future it's what it is the continuing life growth and or consciousness that will continue in the future that makes sentient life valuable something that of course uh, proponents of womb trapped child murders won't admit so now that's pretty much the basics folks uh, abortion is simply genocide okay but now now that I've had uh, I've put that there we have to get into into the more meaty issues of abortion the forbidden truth issues and the first is why exactly does society sponsor and allow the murder of wound trapped children well, the answer's not very nice, folks, but you've got to face the truth. The truth is, is that due to the structure of society, as is mentioned in my other videos, uh, children are severely abused, dominated, and victimized, and so on, and they develop, which is often suppressed and denied, but albeit very real, a deep frustration and rage, they often, they're often disturbed. The social leaders know this. They know that many people are in fact homicidally enraged. They're deeply angry, violent and disturbed and this is just being suppressed. So social leaders have to provide legal outlets for the, this rage. Now, one of them of course is war. Okay, this rage has to be uh, assouched. Okay, it has to be it has to be dealt with. Otherwise, it might end up boiling over and being directed at society and societal leaders. And, and societal leaders know this. Now, societal leaders allow all uh, loyal adult citizen slaves to own a child slave, which is their biological creation and, and uh, uh, by, via the family unit mythology and as an extension of this then they have allowed uh, womb trapped children to be demonized to such a point that they have convinced enough citizen slaves that they're subhuman and they don't count so therefore they allow females who often don't, aren't allowed to do things like boxing and war to do traditionally to uh, vent their various angers, frustration and rage by literally committing murder against their own offspring and therefore assaging that rage and achieving catharsis. Now, that's just the, it's just that simple, folks. Uh, you people want the right to murder your womb-trapped child. You want the right to murder little kids, but at the same time you have the pathological need to deny this truth and deny the fact that you are enraged and that you want to kill these poor innocent children. And therefore you have to do it under various guises and smoke screens that are sponsored and promoted to you by your malevolent, sick and lie-based societies. You're all total hypocrites. Abortion is murder, just as war is murder, which is sponsored by society. 
and yet at the same time as, as murdering all these children, as sponsoring the act as a society of mass murder, okay, you would demonize somebody who did the exact same action as you in a slightly different setting. I'll bring up a photo file. Here is Thomas Watt Hamilton. Now, he was a victim of Scottish society who entered a school in Dunblane and shot dead uh, numerous children with a rifle before killing himself. Now, many of you would hate, revile and demonize Thomas. But yet, folks, all he did was murder some children. And that's exactly what you are doing as a society. Abortion doctors. Uh, murder hundreds and hundreds of children all the time. And society allows it and sponsors it. You go overseas and fire cruise missiles and hit buildings, kill a whole load of children and just call it collateral damage. So you can see the insane hypocrisy, the special pleading of this case, where you want to uh, demonise Mr Thomas Watt Hamilton, and yet at the same time, your society claiming it is good is murdering hundreds of thousands of innocent, helpless children every year. It just doesn't make sense, folks. It's just not logical. It can't be resolved. It can't be logically explained how you can support one form of murder and then demonise another like that. Okay? And that's basically an introduction to the forbidden truth on abortion. Of course, there's always more to these things than the basics that can't be presented in video format. And for those interested in the issue of abortion, I suggest that you visit my website, which a link is now appearing on your screen. On the website, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll find a link to my abortion essay, which absolutely proves everything I have said in this video, including the fact that society and social leaders uh, sponsor abortion murders for the act of soothing and, and assaging the cathartic rage of adult citizen slaves. Uh, this has been Travis Truman. I'll see you next time on Truth TV.